What's up guys, it's Spatula here, and today we are doing a speed build. So I wanted to build like a fun little cute little like cottage thing. So I, I have been on like Pinterest a lot lately, which is one of my favorite things. I love Pinterest. And I keep seeing all these like super cute, like kind of cottage core vibe, like dresses and like princess dresses and like all this pretty stuff, and I was like, I want to live in a little cottage, and, like, run through the fields, and, you know, live out my cottage core vibe dreams, so I was like, why not just build this little cottage, and pretend like I'm going to live there someday, right, um, so I was looking on Google, and, like, looking at some fun vibes and I saw something similar to this um that I got the inspiration from uh and it so it has like the tall roof and like kind of curved and stuff and so I was like well, let's build it let's try it out um I wanted to well so I built it in Windenburg um because I love the little European vibes of that uh town in The Sims and so I use a lot of, like, get-together, like, windows and stuff, because they really, I feel like, have that vibe, like, the, like, cottage vibes, you know? Uh, and then I put that, like, ivy on the side, so I think that works out. And I really love the door uh, that I used for this. I love the, like, stone arch around it, and then the kind of stained glass window on it. I think that's super cute. Uh, and then I wanted to add, like, this little back part, because I was, like, it's good, but I feel like it could, it needs to be a little bigger, you know, and also, uh, I wanted to, like, use, like, the glass roof on a bit of it, so I made that room with, like, the little glass roof on it, because I thought that would be really cute to have that and some, like, really big windows uh, on it, so I used the, those big windows from get together as well uh so then um I wanted to add the little French doors in there um and then we went and started with the floor plan so it's just a one bedroom one bathroom house so it's just kind of a tiny little cottage you know like just you and just one person moving in, living on their own, and like living out their fairy tale dreams. So we have the entryway, which I also eventually make it into kind of like a study space with like a little desk and bookshelves and stuff. Um, and then off of that to the right is the bedroom and the bathroom, kind of in front of the bedroom. And then as you go into the left, I put the living room, which also connects to the kitchen then. And then the back part I made into a little dining room. Uh, so then I had a little trouble, like, figuring out what I wanted to, like, paint it. Because I really like the kind of wooden slats of that initial wallpaper that I put down. But I felt like it was a little too much to have it on the whole thing. So I ended up just going with that on just the like front bit and then the back bit with the um glass roof uh because I felt like that made it like it's still there we still have that vibe but it's not the whole thing because it especially on like the super tall roof it looked a little weird and then I just went with bricks for the rest of it um I used kind of a lot of packs because <laughs> I I really liked the um bricks with, that come with the vampire pack because I don't know those bricks are really nice and Especially in the lighter colors, I feel like they really have good cottage vibes. Um, how many, do not play a drinking game with how many times I say cottage vibes. Because, like, that's not going to end well. Um, anyway, so then we went to the back, and I wanted a cute little, like, back patio area. And so then I lined it with some of those, like, little bushes and stuff. Because um, I thought that would look really cute, and I think it turned out really uh, nicely. Um, so I use, I use a lot of the flowers from Outer Retreat. I think those are really cute flowers. 
I don't use them that often. I don't I don't know. I don't like use that pack too much, but I was like looking for some cute little flowers. Oh, and then I um put that pink tree because I think that tree is so cute and it really worked well. Uh and I used the <laughs> that mailbox. I think that's the only thing I used from that pack. So if you don't have um what is that? Romantic garden stuff. If you don't have that pack, you can put a different mailbox down. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing I use from that pack. So, whoops. Um, <laughs> and also, uh, as you can see, I have the, like, clothes rack for drying your clothes. But I forgot to put it, put in one of the, like, like the washing basin or whatever. Uh, but I did go back and put that in afterwards before I uploaded it to the gallery. Which, by the way... You can find this on the gallery at Spatula Games, because Spatula was taken, so it's Spatula Games, um, and I have a lot of builds on there from before I started my YouTube channel, too, so you can check those out, and I'll be posting everything that I build on there. Um, so now we're getting into furnishing. Well, I already furnished kind of the pack area, which is like a little table and a little bench. I thought that would be really cute. Uh, and so then this is the bedroom. I love the the bed from Realm of Magic. And I also use the wallpaper from that. Because that bed is so pretty. But it's such a specific style. That like finding a good place to use it is really difficult. But I felt like it would be so perfect. Because it's kind of got like good fairy tale vibes. Like it. I said vibes again. Wow. Um, but it looks so pretty, and I love the kind of stained glass top on it. Like, it's so gorgeous, and I think it worked really, really well um, with this build. And then I just put in some bedside tables with candles, which I feel like that's kind of dangerous to, like, have a giant candelabra, like, on your bedside table. Like, imagine having that lit, and you're just sleeping, and you just knock it over and burn your entire house down but I thought it looked cute so I was like whatever it's fine uh and then move to the kitchen I wanted to use like some of the fancier cabinets from like vampires um or realm of magic packs but the swatches on those are not it like they they really weren't ma matching my vibe so <laughs> So instead, I just used some of the base game counters. They're not the, like, most expensive ones, but they're some of the nicer wood ones. Because um, I really like that kind of yellowy, but, like, muted yellow wood tone. I thought that would look really nice. Uh, and then I used the, like, kind of old, like, wood-burning stove. <laughs> which I feel like is very impractical. But it's a cottage in the woods, like... You don't have electricity. Well, I mean, you do. And, like, a lot of the lights definitely use electricity and stuff. But, like, we can pretend you don't have electricity. You just have, like, wood. Um, So, that's why. And then I used the kind of, like, old-fashioned fridge there. And then I, I was going to... I was thinking about having, like, an island. But I feel like that's a very modern thing to have in a kitchen. Uh, so, instead, I just put, like, a like a table in the kitchen because I thought like I needed something else to kind of fill up the space in there um because it, it was just kind of like a big empty space in the kitchen that was left over so instead I just put that table there um it's like not really functional like I don't think sims can like cook on it or whatever but there's plenty of counter space uh and I just thought it would look nice um so then we have the living room and also some other like activities and stuff and I I like those couches a lot I love that swatch of the couches with like the kind of orangey pillows and the blue couches I think those colors really complement each other um and look super nice and then I used uh that rug from the new um what is it called paranormal stuff pack uh which by the way that pack is so good the furniture that new couch that they have in there is literally the most beautiful couch in this game. Uh, it didn't really match with kind of the aesthetic of this build. I didn't use it, but definitely is one of my top used couches because it's 
it's just so good with the blankets and everything. Um, but I also really love that rug that I used. Um, and I think it matched the pillows, like, super well on the couch. So then I just did some, like, striped wallpaper um, and some kind of muted tones. I really love doing just, like, kind of kind of ugly wallpapers and builds like this. Because, <laughs> like, looking at it, like, stripes on your walls like that, it's it's not the cutest thing to have. Like, if I'm being totally honest. However, I think it looks really nice in this particular style. Uh, and then I just added those, like, kind of boxes in the kitchen. Just to kind of clutter it up a little bit. Like, you know, get it from your garden all box. There's actually not a garden. I maybe should have added that. But um, <laughs> you can pretend there's a garden out back. And so I think it's fun to, like, do that. And then... I added that picnic box, which is so big. Like, are I don't actually have like a picnic set or anything, but like, are they actually that big? Like, that's the size of the couch practically. Like, are they normally that big? <laughs> so I sized it down a little bit because I was like, that's a little excessive. And then I added in some skill building activities. We had the the guitar. Um, and the chess set. I know I had an easel earlier. I just some like good things to get your sim skills up because you always need that kind of thing here. Uh, and then we are moving on to the entryway area. And so you see, I added a desk and that beautiful floral wallpaper. I love this wallpaper so much. Like any kind of build that's like kind of older like this, like cottagey or like colonial or anything like that where it makes sense to use that wallpaper I 100% am going to use it because it is just it's so beautiful it's like the perfect granny ugly that it just looks so good I don't know I don't know maybe I'm crazy let me know if you like that wallpaper or not and then of course I had to add in a rocking chair because I love rocking chairs in this game they're so great I don't love the swatches on them I really wish that they came with some more like neutral wood tones and stuff because they kind of have that like weird kind of ruddy orangey wood tone and then they have like black and white but they don't have any other like wood tones and then like all the colors and stuff so I just used the black swatch um because I figured like it would kind of blend in better than like the brighter kind of orangey wood and then I was like trying to figure out the lighting in this room because I don't know so I put a little lamp on there or a little lantern <laughs> there was one I was going to use but it like wouldn't slot onto the desk properly um it was kind of weird and it's really big so I used that instead and then of course you gotta have like <laughs> a teapot on your desk I don't know I thought that was just kind of a cute little decorative moment and um they're not actually like on the desk technically so you can to build hack um <laughs> you can like move the desk away and then put an item on the desk and then move it like with uh move objects on so that it still like looks like it's on the desk but it's in not one of those slot places I find that's very helpful uh, especially when putting things on like dressers and desks and stuff like that uh so then you saw I added like a little coat uh rack and then just a mirror in the hallway so then we're in the bathroom now uh I did that shower tub combo with like the little curtain around it I don't know I think that works pretty well and, and just kind of like a nice sink and mirror and everything bathrooms are not the most exciting um, but I used the golden, uh, towel, or not towel paper, <laughs> towel paper, what is that? <laughs> golden toilet paper, uh, holder, you know, kind of bougie up in here. I just thought it was really pretty, and I don't know, I wasn't really sure what kind of, like, tile to use in the bathroom, or, like, what wallpaper, so I just kind of stuck with that. I feel like it is a little more modern of a vibe than, like, what we're going for, but I think it worked out well. And um, then I was debating whether or not to put that rug there in the entryway, because I was like, is it a little busy? Because there's another rug right there. But I felt like 
lots of rugs is kind of like a fun little mix up of different patterns and colors and stuff so I think it looks good and then we are at the back of the house we have the dining room with the skylight and everything I was initially gonna put a light like in that room like a ceiling light but then I was like (laughs) there's a skylight like that doesn't make sense to have a actual light like in the middle of the skylight right so uh, I just ended up putting some candles on the table. So if they are using it at night, you can still have light, but like it, it makes more sense, I guess. I uh, love the the candles that I used. Um, they're from Dine Out, I believe. Um, but they you can't size them down, and they're like super big. Uh, but if you size them down, then the flames are, like, floating. So I just kept them that big size. But I don't know. I think it would look better if they were a little smaller. But I don't know. They really worked well, I thought. And then I went and moved someone in so I could change the color of the lighting. Because I like it to all match and be even throughout the house. Usually, I go with a more, like, cool tone light. But um, I went with something a little warmer for this one because I feel like a lot of it's, like, candlelight and stuff like that. Um, so here's just some screenshots of the build. I am really glad with how it turned out. I think it's, like, the perfect little cottage in the woods. Uh, And I think it's super cute. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye!